One of the fantastic things about being from New Zealand was um, going offshore and using elements of New Zealand culture, doing the hongi, you know, pressing and touching noses, um, doing the haka, um, really touch people's emotions, their hearts, before we actually got into the real business of what we were doing. Just the simple use of kia ora, simple use of hari mai, just the way we greet people using our own native tongue is all about who we are. We talk within the airline about komata ene, who we are being a powerful expression of our own native personality. And it's very, very powerful and it resonates really strongly with customers. Our people love a challenge. They love solving problems for our clients. So if you look at our core values, tenacity, care, perseverance, these are key to the way we solve problems with and for our clients. Every day we get up, we're thinking about how are we going to create life-changing fitness experiences every time, everywhere. Innovation is partly driven by our relative isolation, but partly also driven by a real determination to be first to market. It's almost unheard of for airlines to be developing their own seat concepts. It's certainly unheard of to develop new ideas in areas like in-flight entertainment or food. And once again, it will make New Zealand stand out in a world that otherwise becomes very grey and very commoditised. Running health and fitness facilities is no different from any other business. You need customers. And not only that, you need to keep those customers. And what we've seen um, over the last 10 years has been what, a, what attracts someone to a business, a health club, and what keeps them there is starting to be more and more based around emotion and human connection. Our client relationships are critical to us and we judge our success really by whether our clients ask us back to join them on future projects together. So the long-term relationships we've established with a number of our Asian clients that have spanned 20, 30 years uh, are, are very rewarding. We've been developing completely new concepts of lie flat economy seats, of ultra-wide premium economy seats and the ability for every customer on board to order their food and drink through their in-flight entertainment system and pressing, instead of pressing a call button. To me, it's all about just taking giant steps forward in terms of allowing customers to choose the experience that they want on board instead of the, the experience that the airline chose for them. Through what we're doing, helping people to connect together in groups, taking them through healthy forms of fun, effective, simple exercise, and allowing them to actually grow in their own lives is a very, very powerful platform to then talk about how their lifestyles might affect their communities and how their communities might affect the planet. Becca prides itself when our clients come back with another exciting project based on their experience and journey with us. A developer in Hong Kong came to New Zealand. He was searching the world for a tower to build in Macau. He saw the Sky Tower and said, I want one of those. So he employed Becca and Moller Architects to deliver a larger version of that in Macau. The future for in New Zealand is not about conventional categories by cabin. It's not about defining passengers by business class or economy class or calling people 37K. The future for us is about defining experiences. It's all about the individual and personal choice.